All right, everyone, welcome to the Blue Talon presentation at the Startup Showcase at Strata and Hadoop World. My name is Eric Telenius. I'm the CEO of Blue Talon and wanted to talk to you this afternoon about data-centric security, why it's important, how you can apply it. Let's start with talking a little bit about data-centric security. What, uh, what we do at Blue Talon is give you the tools to control data at the data level. This is extremely important in light of all the data breaches you're reading about uh, in the news seemingly every week, but also for any business that has any sort of regulatory compliance requirement uh, or even just looking at best practices in terms of securing customer data. Uh, and nowadays, geographically, there are lots of different requirements that need to be met. Um, so what we do is provide two very important functions at the data level. The first is visibility, being able to get a really clear view of what's happening with your data, who's accessing it, when, why, how much. The second is controlling it with very precise, fine-grained controls that lets you be extremely surgical about who gets what data. This is important because data is the lifeblood of business today. You can't just lock data away from users. But too much data is consistent with business. Too much data drives up business risk. So what you want to do is get all the value from the data, but keep the risk. And you know, oftentimes you think of data, sorry, security as a as a different function, right? It's the security guys. They've worried about my endpoint or my perimeter. But as a as a group of folks working with the database, this is actually the most important part of the data breach security equation. Uh, a famous uh, bank robber, Willie Sutton, was once asked, why do you rob banks? And his answer was, that's where the money is. And if you're looking at people who are after sensitive data, the database is the bank. That's where the sensitive data is. That's where they're going to hit. And in fact, in the Anthem breach, where just a handful of compromised accounts were used to exfiltrate 80 million records, what happened was, uh, they deliberately targeted people who might have database access, got their credentials, and then exfiltrated all that data. And in fact, only one account is, is needed. JP Morgan Chase had a, had a breach where one account was used to, to take 76 million credit cards. The Office of Personnel Management breached the same thing. So what's happening is there's very poor control at the data level. And in fact, in a Ponymon Institute survey, 71% of employees said they had access to data they shouldn't, volunteered that. So this is something that we need to do a lot about. Now, the, the existing solutions and the traditional way of doing this is to put in controls either at the app level or on a specific database level. So you'd code in custom views in one database or use a vendor supplied technology to do it. Um, and the problem with this in a, in a big data world is that you're now using so many different databases that when you do that, you have inconsistent controls, no visibility, no auditing. Um, it also makes your, your database infrastructure very brittle. So if you've got your security hard-coded in database A and you now want to use database B, you can't because you have to then redo all that security logic. What Blue Talon does to solve this problem is give you those twin capabilities of control and visibility in a layer that lets you apply it across all your different data stores. So we'll work across Hadoop, we'll work across NoSQL, we'll work with Spark, we'll work with SQL, we'll work on-prem, we'll work in the cloud, giving you consistent control and consistent visibility of the data across all your different heterogeneous data stores and giving you flexibility and ease in terms of those data policies. One of our customers estimated that they're gonna save two to four million dollars next year because it's so much easier to manage the policies this way. From a control standpoint, um, what we do is give you unrivaled tools to give you that very precise control. You can go down to a file, a folder, a table, a field, a subfield, a row, a column, a partial file. Um, you can protect at the Hive level, at the HDFS level. Um, we let you do that with any role. So if someone's in Active Directory or LDAP, you can provision based on the, the, use data rules based on their role, but also on any attribute. So depending on the time of day, their location, et cetera, you can also put in place different data rules. The controls are all dynamic. This is all real time. We don't copy or duplicate the data. And it's all done in a way that works transparently with every application. So here, here's an example where for a certain group, you might want to say, hey, look, deny the ability to read credit cards ever. For socials, maybe they're in customer service, let them see the last four, mask everything else. And if they're in the Western region office, they don't need to see all the world's records or all the country's records, just show Western region zips greater than 80,000. By putting these simple rules in place with Blue Talon, 
any attempt to get at the database, so for example in, in SQL or Hive parlance, if you're looking at select star from accounts, they're only going to see Western region accounts, they're never going to see credit card numbers, and social security numbers will be automatically masked, so you only see the last four. I mentioned control, but there's also visibility. This is increasingly important to be really aware of who's accessing what data, how much data are they accessing, what rules and policies are they hitting. Um, this is not only useful for forensics if there's an incident that happens, it's frankly really useful for detecting unusual activity patterns that could be uh, the signs, an early signs of a data breach. Oftentimes data breaches go on for weeks and months before they're ever detected. And with our system, you could look at uh, what data activity looks like compared to historical patterns, normal usage patterns, etc. The reason we're able to do this effectively is that we have a, an architecture that lets you put all the policies in the policy engine, lets you audit and, and monitor with the uh, audit engine, and consistently enforce with an enforcement point that's mated to each unique data store. Um, we support enforcement points on every major Hadoop distribution, both at the Hive and Impala level, as well as at the HDFS level, uh, for Spark, for Cassandra, uh, for most of your common relational databases, and both on-prem as well as in the cloud and virtual private cloud. What that means is you can write policies once and deploy them multiple places and have seamless security and seamless monitoring across a variety of different data stores. Now, typically when we, we share this information, the first question we'll get is, that sounds amazing, but what about performance? Um, and we work very, very hard to ensure lightning fast performance. There's a number of optimizations we do, and the net of it is that typically it's about 3% overhead, so you can get all the monitoring and all the security with no impact to users. So key takeaways um, are one, you want to architect your security to match the infrastructure. The infrastructure is changing. The infrastructure is heterogeneous. Make sure you have security policies that can work effectively there. The, one of the ways you do that is by bringing security to its own layer. Don't think about hard coding security in particular data stores. Think about treating security as its own layer in the stack. That's what we do. You want to deploy controls that are data aware that will treat different groups, different roles, as well as different data types differently because it's not a one size fits all. Um, and finally, a uh, little bit of a self-serving plug, but you know, pick a partner that works and, and is validated with the leading companies and that's, that's what we've done. Uh, Blue Talon has been selected as one of only five DBMS companies as a cool vendor this year. Uh, we were certified on the major Hadoop distributions such as Cloudera, uh, Hortonworks. Uh, we're partners with Datastax for Cassandra, all the SQL players that you saw. So um, I just want to invite, we have a, just a couple minutes left, but for anyone who'd like to learn more, our booth is conveniently just across the lounge over there in aisle 300. Um, we have a new uh, product that we're unveiling here, which is a test drive. So for anyone who wants to get a hold of this and play with it, try it on HDFS, you can sign up for that and very easily look at the power that Blue Talon can, can provide for you. Uh, it gives you a good way to, to uh, show how you can eliminate those blind spots. So you know, please do sign up. Um, I'll be available afterwards if you have questions as well. There's also our website website. And um, I just encourage you again to think about how you apply that security, not as a hard-coded uh, element in locked into one thing, but across many different silos and distributions. So uh, with that, thank you very much for your time and be happy to I'll step over there and take questions after. So thank you.